To developing stories around the world. They say it's a way to get their message heard. As the pro-democracy march continues, as you see the crowds turned out, so did the rain. Hong Kong police in dealing with these protesters have upped the armor and have brought in the riot squads. The devastation can be felt, it can be seen. Just a week ago, this was Soda Winery's tasting room. That's despite the fact that the U.S. has now confirmed its second case. Right now, the Chinese president, Xi Jinping, is inside Buckingham Palace having lunch with the queen. But it also has Hong Kong residents nervous about traveling across the border. So as you can imagine, it's pretty loud out here. For some reason, at around 5, 6 p.m., after a full day of reporting on these uh, Twitter account suspensions, I found myself in the same uh, in the same suspension, permanently banned. With Susan Lee, who, who got here just in time. <laughs> Oh, Susan, right. Susan Lee has the numbers, has a hint of who may... Oh, did, oh is the hat taking it away? Did uh -oh. he take it away? Uh-oh. <laughs> is Fox Business correspondent Susan Lee, who is very smart. Who will win this? this, this yeah. <laughs> But today, shocking the market, the tech, and the media world by announcing its new streaming service, Apple TV+. Plus. Watch Susan Lee's special two-part interview. We'll see... Tim Cook on one side, Donald Trump on the other. They see a lot of difference, but you have been able to engage and work together. So how does the, the relationship work? There are differences. There's, there's no doubt about that. Because you both are such big personalities, there's a close economic, political partnership between Canada and the U.S., people are always curious as to how closely you get along. So I'll give you a scale. How about this? If the scale is... Bear with me. If the Mexican President Nieto is, say, one, Macron is a 10, where are you in that sliding scale? I, I don't know. I'm, I think we're all interested in unpacking that scale she's just generated and why those choices are there. I, 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 I think uh, it's an interesting read on it. Okay. So the scale will be at seven. I... Did you reject a one-on-one -on -one meeting with the Canadian Prime Minister, Justin Trudeau? Yeah, I did. Why? Because his tariffs are too high and he doesn't seem to want to move, and I've told him, forget Mr. it. Mr. President, NAFTA. What, what does that mean for NAFTA? Will you be pulling out of NAFTA? Uh, I don't like NAFTA. If you're going to notify Congress of what pulling out of NAFTA. What we're probably going to do is call it the USMC. Good job, too. You do, a, you do a very good job. Really good. System Susan Lee is here to help us out with that. She'll join us on set. Even growing up, as somebody in North America, as one that's been here since I was two years old, you know, you've been called names in the playground. And for some reason, just over the past year, you've just heard this replay of things that you thought and hope, hope for were in the past. But maybe it's because of what happened to the economy. People have lost their jobs. Obviously, COVID has been horrendous for everybody over the past 12 months. But for the entire community, we're, you know, we're standing up for ourselves finally because Asians have been called the model minority. So we've been silent. We've been taught to not, not cause problems. But I like the fact that it's been galvanized and that we're all getting together. We're all standing as one, hoping for a voice to say, please stop. We're all in this together. We're all Americans as well. And we want to be part of this community. And we have a highly esteemed panel joining us today to participate in this impactful discussion. It's important to tell positive, powerful stories from the Asian American community. So these little kids growing up that they feel empowered, they don't feel othered, and it's okay to look the way you do. And you don't feel different and you don't feel uncomfortable in your own skin. She's done more interviews than a hiring manager at Wendy's, Fox Business correspondent Susan Lee. You know, my grandpa used to own a convenience store. Mm -hmm. So he was running away from civil war and that was how he made his new life here in yeah. the new land. And when I was little, I didn't know it at the time, but he was actually he was being robbed. Right. I was a little kid. I didn't know what was happening. He told me to go back into the kitchen and I remember you know, that stay day. there. Breaking right now, the national emergency also breaking this evening. We're less than an hour to go to the closing bell. I'm Susan Lee. Yes, it does. So a four-day winning streak in jeopardy. So let's, uh, of course, start talking about FTX because some have said that you are the instigator of FTX's collapse. You've called Sam Bankman fried a psychopath, a liar. Was it outright fraud? 2021 conference, and the champ is right here, Floyd Mayweather. Susan Lee, only on CNBC. Every aspect of Alanis' life is steeped in religious beliefs. Susan, welcome to one and only Walden Valley. Thank you, Michael.